Hello, thank you for tuning in today, I appreciate you. In today's video, I wanna make a quick one and share with you how I go about capturing the actual screen gameplay from my Ampernick RG35XX retro game console. If you have any questions, I'm gonna encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. I will also leave links for you in the description below so you can check out this retro console on your end. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring that bell for me as I'm going to be bringing more videos like this for you all. With that being said, let's get right on into this. For this specific handheld console, you can see that it does have an HD output. So from here, we can send out the output from our screen to something and record it. And I'm here to kind of fill in those gaps for you all. So what we're going to need is we're going to need the handheld retro console. We're going to need a capture card. In this instance, I'm using the Elgato HD 60S Plus. And again, links will be for you in the description below. The wires that we're going to be needing is we're going to need one HDMI wire. We're going to need another HDMI wire that goes to a HDMI mini here so that way we can send it from one unit to another. I'm going to explain that here shortly and then we're going to need this USB wire right here that actually comes with the Elgato. That's everything that we're going to be needing here. Let me explain the setup right here. So here's the HDMI, this is the HDMI mini and then this is the USB wire. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make sure that on the in side and there's an outside and then the plug that I showed you up top on the double X here so on the in we're gonna want to plug in the USB to the USB slot and then this other side is gonna go into our computer where we're gonna be capturing two so that's gonna go on the inside right there in right here next what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to get the HDMI for the console we're gonna get that wire next right here. So this side is gonna go into the in right here because we're gonna be sending the information from the double X into the capture card. And the other mini side is gonna go up top up here, like so. So now the flow that we have is all of the gameplay and whatever pops up on the screen is gonna be sent out on into this capture card right here and then now we need to send the signal from the outside right here I'm gonna plug in the other HDMI and this is just another standard HDMI on this side this is gonna go into my TV monitor and that is going to be the setup that I'm running to capture the gameplay for this handheld console right here and this is gonna work for any console that has these outputs here let me give you one quick rundown again. So we have the source that we're capturing, which is gonna be this retro console right here. We're running it out into the HD60S Plus right here. And then this USB is being ran into our computer. And then from there, the HDMI on the output here is gonna be running into the TV mo or to the monitor that we're gonna be using. So the screen gameplay goes from here on around from this cord into here, from here, here into the monitor. Allow me to show you what the gameplay looks like when we capture from this sort of setup right here. Frost wins. Fatality. 
that right there is how I go about capturing my gameplay from my RG35XX retro handheld console. Again, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section down below. I will do my best to assist you in the best possible direction. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring that bell for me as I'm going to be bringing more videos like this for you all. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your time. You have a great day.